Have you ever pondered the possibility of humans inhabiting Venus? It's a tantalizing thought, isn't it? But let's delve deeper into this fascinating topic. Imagine a world shrouded in thick yellow clouds where temperatures soar high enough to melt lead and atmospheric pressure is equivalent to being a kilometer deep in Earth's oceans. This is Venus, Earth's closest planetary neighbor and often referred to as Earth's evil twin. For the longest time, Venus has been considered inhospitable. However, recent scientific advancements and research have begun to challenge this long-standing belief. Today, we are going to discuss these recent developments. In the past few years, scientists have discovered that Venus's upper atmosphere, about 50 to 60 kilometers above the surface, is much milder than previously thought. The temperatures here range from a comfortable 20 degrees Celsius to a slightly toasty 50 degrees. This is comparable to conditions on Earth, igniting the curiosity of scientists worldwide. Furthermore, the atmospheric pressure in this region is similar to Earth's sea level, making it the most Earth-like area in our entire solar system outside of our home planet. However, there's a catch. Venus's atmosphere is almost entirely made up of carbon dioxide, with traces of nitrogen and sulfuric acid, making it extremely hostile to human life as we know it. But scientists are nothing if not innovative. They've proposed the concept of floating cities, habitats suspended in the Venusian atmosphere, where conditions are relatively benign. These habitats would be filled with breathable air, which conveniently is a lifting gas in Venus's dense atmosphere, allowing these structures to stay aloft. However, there are still significant challenges to overcome. The high concentrations of sulfuric acid would be corrosive to any materials brought from Earth. The slow rotation of Venus also means that any habitat would have to withstand lengthy periods of darkness and cold. And of course, there's the issue of getting there, setting up these habitats and maintaining them. In summary, while the idea of living on Venus might seem more science fiction than fact, recent research into Venus's atmosphere has made the idea less far-fetched. The milder conditions in Venus's upper atmosphere and the concept of floating cities give a glimmer of hope. However, significant hurdles remain from the corrosive atmosphere to the logistical challenges of setting up and maintaining habitats. The notion of humans living on Venus remains a topic of ongoing research, a testament to human ingenuity and our never-ending quest to explore and understand the universe we inhabit. As we continue to push the boundaries of science and technology, who knows what possibilities the future may hold?